Hey guys, today I want to talk about the importance of laser scraper. So basically, the laser scraper is this move here. It's back forward 2 1 or 2 1 2. This move has a couple of variations, like the 2 ender. Then you can also end the string with down forward 2, which gives you a launcher. And you can end the string with a 4, which gives you this knockdown. But we'll be mainly talking about the 2 extension here. So. Why is Laser Scraper so important for Devil Gen? Let's put it simply. Devil Gen is a Mishima, people like to step Mishimas because this happens. Yes. Most Mishimas are very steppable and if you don't apply Laser Scraper well, Devil Gen has also a huge weakness to stepping. But thankfully we have Laser Scraper. So how does this move work? Basically, the first two hits here, they catch both directions of stepping. If I put him to sidewalk or right instead, we will still catch him. Yes. So this here is basically a hidden homing move. There are some characters that can step this, like Lily. But generally speaking, this here is basically a homing move. Yeah, as you can see, it is steppable. But realistically speaking, this will catch steppers 90% of it, 59, 95% of the time. So, um, just consider this a mid homing move. What are the properties? Okay. So, the properties of this move here. If you just do the first hit here, it's safe. This first move here is safe. Let's record this again just to point it out. Oh, oops, my bad. So as you can see, the first hit here is safe. It's quite minus on block, but you're still safe after the first hit. After the first two hits, however, it is minus 10. So it is unsafe. But why do people not always press into this because oh, come on there is the extension how do we counter the extension we step it to the right so if we step devil Dream's laser scraper to the right we can evade it yes like this So now we have a quite interesting mind game. So you can either do the first hit or the first two hits, but now you're punishable. Or you can do the last hit. And you can also delay the last hit quite a bit. If you just look at it, you can do it very quickly like this. Or you can delay it for quite substantial time. What other properties do we have with this string? Okay, so the first thing here. God, oh god, oh. If the first hit hits, the second one is guaranteed. If the second hit hits, it does not guarantee the last hit. If, however, the second hit is a counter hit, the last hit is guaranteed. If the first hit hits, the enemy is sent into a crumble stun. If, he, if the opponent doesn't break the stun, you can get a lot of stuff out of this. I will show you one opportunity. You can, for example, electric. Wait a second. You can, for example, electric. And as you can see, it says like 57 damage. Because This is because this is not a true combo. The initial hit the initial hit here doesn't count towards the combo counter because it is breakable. And how do you break this crumble stun here? Yeah. It's I mean, it's not quite easy, it's counterintuitive, so uh, it's better that you practice it. You break it by holding forward. And when you break it, it should look somewhat like this. Yeah. 
and I don't get anything guaranteed if your opponent breaks it. So you break this by holding forward. So the first hit gives you this crumple stun. If the second hit is a counter hit, you get the last hit. This also counts towards the launching variant. So these are your properties. It strikes well, the first hit is safe but heavily minus, the second hit is unsafe and the last hit is safe but steppable. And all options are steppable to the right. I can show you, just wait a second. Oops. Block, block, block. Yes. The launching variant is also steppable and the... Yes, all steppable. What can I else say about this string? Just because I just watched it. Yes. If the first hit connects, or the second one, based, because if the first hit here connects, the second one is guaranteed anyway, and if only the second hit hits, same thing. So as long as the second hit here hits, he cannot step you. What I mean by this is, of course, if only the first two hit hit or normal hit, he can still just block, but he cannot step, because if he tries to step afterwards, he gets hit by it. So if you can confirm that the first two here hit, you can go for the last hit here. Just be wary, your opponent might still be able to do something unexpected like parry. So it's really matchup specific, but in general, if these two hit, you can add the third hit if you want to. But don't always add it just for uh, YOLO reasons, you know what I mean. Make a mind game out of it. If you're always gonna do this, there is no mind game, people will just block. But if you see that somebody is not familiar with the matchup or trigger happy, go on, finish the string. It can lead to some very interesting results. Like for example, come on. To the wall we go. You get what I'm trying to say. So if this here hits, your opponent cannot step. All they can do is block or parry or whatever. What else is there to say about this string? Let's talk about placement, okay? How do you place a laser scraper? I will show you some ideas on how to place this move so that you get the most out of it. So your opponent, they play against you and uh, let's say they like to side walk left because they are afraid of your health sweep, they are afraid of your up forward 4, they are afraid of jabs, they are afraid of down forward 1, whatever. They are afraid of this, they are afraid of this. Basically everything you have is stable to this side with few exceptions. So the, most opponents will try to sidestep or side walk all the time try to get out of your blender of crazy 50-50. And what do we do against such people? We laser scraper them. This is a very good string. But how, how do we apply it in a clever way? So, when do people step? One good reason to step is because you're wave dashing in front of them and they try to avoid your 50-50. Then you can go in there and instead of doing a 50-50, Let's just say that he is... Um, yeah. Instead of doing that, try Laser Scraper. Once in a while, maybe you get a... Maybe you get even a counter hit and your opponent won't block it. You know what I mean. Something like this, huge damage, and people will be discouraged to stab you out of wave dash. This is one option you might be using. What other options do you have for applying laser scraper? So, for example, you're poking and people want to evade your poking game. So if you're up close, you can use it while poking. You, you just saw what happened, like, right, I tried to jab and he invaded my jab. So up close is a good... I mean, this is devil gen specific, of course. If you hit a jab, I wouldn't do a, a laser scraper. In that case, just do a back four. 
because your jab is plus eight so if it hits of course plus eight and hit just to be sure that you don't misunderstand this but if this jab hits you can just do a back four and most often it will catch him yeah so when you hit a jab or a down forward one do this here much better but if you get a down forward one block or a jab block or you put, or you get a electric block yeah you get what i'm trying to say when is laser scraper deadly so you can as i told you you can apply it out of a wave dash you can apply it when you're trying to pressure somebody you can apply it of course in the neutral if you want to check that people don't step all too much I mean, in the neutral you have also this tool, this is really good, forward, forward, four. It's plus five from block, but it's, it is a high. And I I personally, I'm afraid of using too many highs with Devil Gym because people are prone to ducking because of this crazy health whip here and the electric. If I didn't, you know how electric should look like. Like this, not like this. This happens when you're recording for YouTube. But yeah, because of electric and health sweep, most people um, like, they are keener to duck against Devil Dream, so I tend not to use this move all too much. But don't worry, you can use this move as much as you want if you know your opponent isn't ducking, and especially at lower ranks, forward water is a good alter alternative. But at higher ranks, and if you, especially if you like to abuse 50-50, go for Laser Scrape, it is mid, people can duck it anyway. But when is Laser Scraper best used? Okay, now we're at the wall, and our opponent wants to escape our crazy pressure. What did, it, what did I just tell you about the properties of Laser Scraper? Let's go to the wall here. Okay, yeah. So our opponent got hit by an electric. By an electric. Okay, by an electric. Electric is plus five, so we have... A a huge amount, like a huge research of moves we could use. We can also use this here. We can do another, oops, we can do another electric. But if you, we want to stop our opponent stepping and we also are afraid that he might duck because he might think we're going to go, we're going for another electric or a hell sweep. So laser scraper is great here. Oh, we catched him, we catched him stepping there. And what did I just tell you about what happens with when Laser Scraper hits? Yes, he cannot step anymore. So now he has to think, will I stop or will I step again? And if he presses buttons or steps, he gets wall split. And we get all our combos and whatever. And if he blocks, we can go for the forward, forward to... We can just wait, we can do electric, we have a plethora of possible of possibilities. I mean you should experiment with this. This is basically how you pressure with devil chain at the wall. Electric, laser scraper, hell sweep, down three, down back two maybe. But I will show you one I will show you the best situation in which to apply laser scraper. So how did we say do you how do you evade the laser scraper? Yes, by side stepping or side walking right. Like this. Okay. But what if your opponent cannot sidestep or side walk right because there is a wall in his way? Awesome, right? So Okay, my game just froze, excuse me, I'm sure it will continue soon, but what I was trying to say is, if your opponent cannot step to the side, you have an, a crazy mix-up. And this is the best situation, because now it's basically the same as hitting the first two hits, he cannot step it. And if he tries, bad luck for him, tough luck. You can do whatever you want after this. If you happen to get your opponent into a corner or with this, his, his side 
through a wall so that he cannot step it. So your laser scraper becomes ridiculous, it's unavoidable. So, whenever you see yourself in such a situation, remember your opponent cannot evade this. You have this powerful mix-up. Do you just do the first hit? Do you do the first two hits? Go you full, will you go for the full string? So let's go to the question, why is Laser Scraper a top move for Devil Jin? Why should you use it instead of other moves? Okay, what, al what alternate... Like, let me put it this way. What use does Laser Scraper have? Okay, it has the following uses. It is a homing move. A homing move. It is a mid sub move. I mean, you can play main mind games with this. Safe, unsafe, steppable, hit, counter hit, all these things. It's mind gamey. It puts a lot of burden on your opponent and you can stress him out with it. It's safe if you apply it well. This year is safe. This year is unsafe, but people will not challenge it as long as you stay unpredictable with your follow-ups or place it in a manner that they shouldn't try to uh, oppose it. So it's relatively safe. And it's mid. So we have a almost like safe-ish homing mid with a lot of mind game potential. What does it do to your opponent? It locks them down. This year being mid synergizes extremely well with his powerful lows and highs. So people start being skeptical of Ducky. They won't just stand up like this or whatever on every time Duck whenever you press buttons because you have laser scraper. It will catch them. People are also less inclined in just doing sidestep moves or whatever because you get them. So how does it compare to other moves? Okay, we have this year. You might say, hey, forward 1 plus 2. This here is also a mid homing move. And it's a true homing move and it is even a fancy wall bounce. Okay, I will show you why this move is quite rubbish. Oops. Oops. Yeah, this one is not safe. Uh, I wouldn't say that this move is useless, but um, it's useless, yes. Don't use it. But, okay, you can use it if you want to style on people with your fancy wall bounce combos. I never learned one. But this year is pretty useless if you have laser scraper, because this year is unsafe, this year is safe. Also, laser scraper is faster. If you do the input back forward to as fast as possible, this here is 15 frames. But realistically speaking, especially when you start out with this character, it'll be something between 16 to 17 frames. Because the input is a bit awkward. Hmm, what other homing moves do we have? Forward, forward, forward. This move is great. It is plus 5 from block. It has some range, you can do it out of, out of the wave dash really easily. Uh, on counter hit nothing special happens, but... And I will try to record something here. <laughs> yeah. If you catch somebody floating, it insta-screws. Oops, like this. So it is also a really good anti-air move, for example, against characters like Akuma. Akuma. Um, yeah, what else does to say? Okay, what is bad about this move? Okay, let's see. Same problem as with Electric. It has some pushback, so there is, there aren't any crazy frame traps you can set up with this because most of your frame trap moves will just whiff when you're doing it out in the open. Same as electric, if you apply it at the wall it becomes much better. You can. It is a homing move, it wall splats, 
same as the electric here. So basically this move at the wall is a bit like a discount electric in a way. Um, what do I mean by discount electric? So it wall splits like an electric. It is plus 5 on block like an electric. But whereas the electric is 14 frames fast. This here is much slower. I can't remember what the exact frames on this move are. But it's way slower than an electric. So you can't. You can't frame trap people by spamming it. With an electric, if you have good execution, you can just spam electric and if you're fast enough, an electric is 14 frames, it is plus 5, meaning if you do it perfectly, the next electric will come out in 9 frames compared to your opponent. So you can frame trap people just with electric. But whereas the electric is pseudo homing, I mean, it tracks way better now in season 2 and you can almost regard electric as being a homing move but obviously they are not um, i can show you here let's just put in yes this looks good oops no sorry here sidewalk left yes as you can see electrics are not really homing but they catch a lot of people when they try to step so forward forward four in that regard is better because this is a really true homing move but back to the topic why do we use laser scraper way more often than forward forward four? This has this is a bit harder to explain because you have to look at Devil Jin as a whole character. What do people fear about Devil Jin? So imagine yourself being the opponent. You have this crazy Devil Jin, he moves around, he does stuff. What are you afraid of? Okay, he has a health sweep. And Let's just see how much damage you can get out of a health sweep if you don't drop the combo that is. Something like this. That's crazy. But there is more. Let's switch up the combo here. One bit closer for optimal damage. I delayed that one too, too much, but as you can see, you get... This is a powerful law. So, people deal with this by mostly sidestepping to your weak direction, or just ducking, because they want to guess. What else do we have? We have a jab. This jab is good. It's plus one on hit, and uh, plus one on block, like most jabs. And it is plus eight on hit, but plus eight with Devil Dream means we get this here. I will show you in a second. Yes. So wh when whenever we hit a jab or a down forward one or a wild standing four, we are plus eight and this here becomes unstoppable and uninterruptible. And on counter hit, it becomes a launcher. So of course people are also a bit afraid of our poking game, mostly with this. But what is the move most people are afraid besides the health sweep? It's the electric. And this here is also a high. So people stand there and they're constantly afraid of your electrics, especially because most of Mishima players, especially um, beginner Mishimas, like to just spam electrics all day. And people will are very likely to duck. So every additional high that you're going to use increases the probability of your opponent trying to duck you. Abuse health sweeps, he will duck. Abuse electrics, he... Execution, I tell it. Abuse electrics, he will try to duck. So what do we have to do? You have to do mids. But what mids does Devil Jin have? He has up forward four here. Okay. Side to walk, please. Okay. Weird. Yes, like this. So up forward 4 is pretty linear in a weird way. I mean, it clips people sometimes if we go to sidewalk left. Yeah. But usually, as you can see, this here is pretty linear. You can step it in both directions, actually. Oops, not my Yeah. Yes. Left and right. 
So this mid is a bit garbage when it comes to tracking abilities. Down forward 1 doesn't track very well. What other mids do we have? Down forward 4 tracks a bit. Still quite steppable, especially when you sidewalk as far as I remember. Yeah. While standing for... What other mids do we have? Down forward 2. Yeah. So these are all our key mo our key mids, apart from laser scrape. And as you can see what my point, what I'm trying to get to you is if you want to use a mid to check up on your opponent. Laser scraper. What else do you have that tracks and is a mid? Of course you could do this here, but what if your opponent ducks? He will launch you for it, so laser scraper is super valuable. Hmm, I think I've covered now why laser scraper is good. It is 15 frames, it is mid, you see all these mind game potentials. If it the first two hit hits, you cannot step it. If the second one is a counter hit, the last hit is guaranteed, etc, etc. And laser scraper should be one of your most used moves. And mm, to put it into perspective, because there are people in all skill ranges. If you just picked up Devil Dream, like your teal rank Grandmaster, something like this, or early green ranks, early yellow ranks in this region, I honestly don't think that you're going to be forced to use this move it's too much. Because I know it, it, it's chaos down there in green ranks, okay? So let's be honest, this is something you will be forced to use in very high levels of play. Until then you can do basically whatever you want as long as you have something to win with, if you know what I mean. Everybody has something. You can abuse hell sweeps, you can abuse electrics, but there, there will come a point where you will be forced to use this. What I'm trying to get to is, in early ranks, don't crush your head trying to implement this into your game plan. You will be forced using it anyway sometime in the near or distant future. And I would recommend experimenting with this move here around yellow ranks. Because this is the time when most people will try to stop mashing all the time and try to step. Because why use a homing move if people don't step? Just use down forward too, it's better, it gives you a counter it long. If you don't... Yes, like this. This here, it's also 15 frames, it gives you a counter hit launch here. So in, in early ranks I recommend don't worry too much about applying this here. People will not step you anyway. It's a bit hard execution wise and it has limited range. If you compare it to stuff like forward forward 2. Around yellow ranks I recommend every devil gym player use this. This is the time where you should experiment with this and around Gembu or Mighty Ruler is the time where it's like if you haven't been using Laser Scraper until then start immediately. And this goes to all ranks. Don't use this. I mean I'm not your boss you can use this if you find a clever way of using this here go for it. I just don't personally see any benefit for this move here. It's really risky, it's a necessary laser scraper does the job as well. This here, forward forward 4, is also really useful. And if you're in low ranks, try using this instead of laser scraper for the sole reason that this is easier to input, it has more range and it is plus on block. So forward forward 4 would be a good alternative to laser scraper if you're just starting out of the character. But otherwise, go for a laser scraper. I will show a few more examples of how to use laser scrapers for combos and stuff like this. Because laser scraper is a great filler for combos. And what I like to do is to do a combo like this here and do the down forward 2 exp extension because it hits them really far off 
you can go for some really great opening. And if you're near the wall, you get a really high wall split. I'm just trying to think of a combo. Yes, something like this here. Now I'm gonna try to adjust the distance to the wall. Yeah, almost, almost a bit more. Did you see how high it hit him? If you're just going for wall carry, you can also use this string and just do the normal 2 extension here, which will give you much more wall carry, but it will not hit as low. And for Oki purposes here, if you compare it to the other version, it's not as good in my opinion, because they travel fast, uh, further away from you, but you need more time to catch up to them. If you do the down for a 2 extension here, you can you can catch up to them before they even hit the ground. So if you want good Oki, you can use oops, if you want good Oki, you can use the down for a 2 extension here. And if you want more wall travel you can just do the normal laser normal laser scrape extension here. Uh, just to be sure to not confuse anybody if you want a detailed explanation for Devil Jin's combos, watch my other videos. I was just trying to talk about laser scrapers and combos. So yeah. Also, um, but I rarely use this, you can use the 4 extension to spike them. As you can see, it flips them over here. And this is also really good for Oki purposes. I'm gonna try to get him closer to the wall here. A bit, a bit closer, maybe. Yeah. This is a very desirable Oki situation to have them facing you this way. Because their Oki options are limited in this stance. So if you want better Oki, you can just do the 4 extension here. Which is also really great. You should always mix up your enders to confuse your opponent as much as possible. But I think now I've covered everything about this particular move and yeah, I'm, I'm just interested if you guys would like for me to continue stuff like this. I was talking to an, an subscriber, a fan if you could call it like that, and we were talking about um, deconstructing top 15 moves of every character. And I doubt that it will be beneficial to deconstruct every last move a character has in a video like this, but there are so many moves where I can feel like people are just confused because they see it on like this top 15 moves list like, Oh, I want to pick up Devil Jin. What are his 15 top moves? Electric. But why? Why is it good? Why is it bad? And for that reason, I was thinking of making like a series out of these videos. Uh, yeah, so just... Tell me what you guys think about it, maybe you would like to have more videos, maybe the format sucks, I don't know. Personally, I think it is really beneficial and I will go for at least two more videos of this kind and see how people like it. And if you want to cover, if you want me to cover anything else, just write me, I have, I have a lot of time if you know what I mean. Now that studies are almost over. I hope this video helped you and have fun practicing. You know the drill.